NANI? The freak you doing in my hotel room, suck? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on you guys uh i am currently in freaking las vegas a brother ain't never been to las vegas before this, this is all new to me vegas baby vegas we in vegas starting off the new year i actually got invited to um ces by uh e-bike company because of the because of my new love for uh e-bikes and stuff like that and i was like <laughs> okay, sure. So I had to get a flight and everything and uh, CES takes place. I think it's a three-day event. It is a little bit chilly here. I think it's like 43 degrees. Listen, I come from Florida, so this is kind of like, it ain't cold, cold, but it's like cold enough to where I need some type of jacket. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, man, we going into CES. Hopefully I have a great time, you know, see a lot of, and if you guys don't know what CES is, it's like, you know, that convention that shows like all of you know, the new and latest tech that's supposed to come out, you know, this year and into the future from, you know, computers, laptops, uh, phones, uh, freaking cars, freaking electric cars and smart cars and watches and <laughs> like all that like tech related stuff. And e-bike companies are also here. So that's how I got into it. Are we about to head there. I think it starts at, at least I hope it starts. <laughs> <laughs> and in, you know the afternoon like at 12 p.m. So yeah, you know people will be bringing their cameras and all type of equipment and stuff like that I'm like let me bring my little camera <laughs> that I got you know Hopefully record some stuff and stuff like that and I gotta catch a uh, uber uh, right now So we about to do that uh, and yeah Let's see what I capture. I don't know Good morning, Jesse. How are you doing, sir? How is your day going so it's far? It's always great when I get up, sir. Huh? Thanks, God, for that. Yeah, I hear it's you. It's always great when you get up. I hear you, bro. I hear you. Mm -hmm. so I'm a bartender at Banquets. Oh, you're a bartender? In Mandalay Bay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been tending bar for 40 years. So 40 years? 40 years, yeah. Uh, convention Center. Oh. Okay. You're going to the Venetian, right? Yeah, because this is the first one I'm going to, actually. Hey, we're here with Jeremy. We're high. We're, we're live at CES 2024. I'm here with Jeremy. I see him. He's already, you, you already got the whole thing down. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to say this man Jeff was so cool. Once him and others knew who I was, they just grabbed me, gave me a goodie bag, started asking me a bunch of questions. They wanted me to give them my first impressions on their new bikes. Like when I tell you like 
they had me feeling like a celebrity <laughs> and like people was stopping and like seeing like what we was doing and going on like I was getting low key kind of like stage fright and blushing a little bit <laughs> but it, but it, the whole thing was so cool Jeremy tell me what is your first impression of this bike I'll say this it feels very comfortable uh the seat feels really nice right right here and you just feel like it kind of feels like a Motorcycle. It's like a cockpit, right? Yeah. So very nice. I see the horn. Right. Very loud horn, actually. Uh, you got the turn signals. Okay, you got the turn signals uh, right here. Of course, are these are the uh, hydraulic disc brakes? So I got the hydraulic uh, disc brakes. Is it full suspension? Full suspension. Full suspension, too. I like the, uh, if you could come in for the. Uh, right here. Yo, you should start a channel. You're you're a natural at this. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Shin, uh, uh, introduce yourself and tell us about the company known as Okay. Great. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Harry. You know, you can call me Chinese and Mitchell and from China. And we built this Sarah share about 10 years ago. So far, 10 Sarah share is a uh, 10 years of history. We're not just in just an e-bike company anymore. And which means that we are uh, not just sell e-bikes, we say the, we span our business. Yeah, and then like, we span in uh, like an echo system, bikes, a serving board, and uh, camping stops. That's, that's a very cool, cool thing there. Actually, we have, uh, you know, online store. This is the one thing you can go to Sarah.com. And then sometimes you can go to, you know, uh, like I would say, uh, Amazon. We have some, have some store too. And, it, and then we have a store in Logan. A Logan store, you can just go there. You can do the test ride. And then you can just, uh, you know, do the customer service. And then this year, we're going to also go to uh, uh, how to say we looking well looking for more dealers so we have a distribution data centers and it's apparently we have about seven to ten dealers around the United States that can buy from our dealers too. Thank you so much man, I appreciate it. Thank okay, you. thank you. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm changing my channel to an e-bike channel. <laughs> I'm telling you. Literally just getting back to the hotel, bro. <laughs> Yo, I don't know because I'm getting older, but like I'm tired as hell. <laughs> I'm tired as hell. And I left early. This, this was just the first day. Bro, that place is literally like the freaking mall. Like down where I am, they got I think the biggest mall next to me is like the Sawgrass Mall. Bro, it's like that. Like, it's just like a, it's pretty much a big mall with like nothing but tech. <laughs> From like gaming to computers to freaking futuristic behind looking cars, Bugatti's, Apple, like Sony, LG, Samsung, you, you name any tech company, these suckers is here. And it's just constant, <laughs> it's just constant walking around people in every direction you go they got a food court is like they got a food court they got different levels they got escalators elevators it's literally like 
if it, it if I had to explain it, it's literally like just a huge mall with tech everywhere. <laughs> and like, that's amazing. It's great seeing this all, you know, in a person for the first time. But bro, I'm beat. <laughs> I'm beat. It, it, bro, it's 42 degrees, bro. It's been 42 degrees since I woke up. <laughs> it's, it like, it ain't cold. Like, I'm not like, <laughs> like, it's not like cold, cold, but uh, it's a little chilly. I'm <laughs> so like you know after walking around and then going outside and talking to all these people like all of this I'll, however I edit this video all that stuff that y'all seen that was day one <laughs> that's day one and I'm already like yeah time for my black behind to get back to Florida <laughs> Man, it's time to get back to Florida I, I I don't need this stuff, bro. I really don't. Uh, let, let me say this right now because it is on my mind, bro. I've been doing YouTube since what? Like late 2008, early 2009. Um, So many low points doing this junk. So many moments of like doubt and like, bro, what the hell am I doing? Like, how am I going to get my channel more out there? <laughs> like stuff like that. And... Just, you know, if you are a con, you, if you are a content creator, you know, all of the times we doubt ourselves and, you know, is th this is a very compet, a very competitive, but fun, uh, feel to get into. And like these days is way more popular. But back when I started, it was like, you do YouTube, Ew, you're weird. <laughs> so like, just remembering like how this junk started from me using the freaking piss cam on PS3. Now I'm getting freaking flown out to Vegas, going to CES and all and all this stuff. It all stems back to you guys, man. So thank seriously, thank you guys so much for like supporting me over the years. Like all of the stuff that I'm doing now, I mean, yeah, I put in the work, but it all stems back to you guys for watching my, you know, stuff that I've been doing for these years, man. So I I, I, words can't even express how much uh, gratefulness I have for my th and and I'm not even a like a big channel I'm I'm not you know but I'm doing my own thing and this is what I do for a living so words cannot express how much I am appreciative of all of you guys that's been supporting me for over the years man kiss me kiss me we got some food though <laughs> we definitely got some food I I didn't that's another thing bro. <laughs> My freaking sister was like, well, <laughs> she had gave me like, well, I want to get into it. But, you know, I, my family know that I was coming here. It's pretty much a business trip for me. Like, I'm not coming here to have fun and freaking, freaking, uh, freaking take hook, <laughs> freaking take hookers off of the freaking strip and freaking put them in my whole, <laughs> put them in my whole, whole, whole hotel room and be like, hey, baby, <laughs> we, 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 we ain't here for all of, of that, but you know, I, I am trying to explore, but you're so busy like doing stuff and recording like and then it's freaking kind of chilly out like bro I don't get, I don't even think I'll have the time to actually hit the strip or like, you know, try to potentially pick up a prostitute like I don't <laughs> I, 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 just, I don't have the time man I've never had this place before another franchise I think that Shaq owns this man Shaq is everywhere this like a, is like part is like partnered with freaking Papa John's freaking a whole bunch of other companies freaking <laughs> freaking Hades or whatever this like is like partnered with this freaking restaurant I guess Shaq like partly owns this freaking place called Big Chicken in Las Vegas. If any of you suckers live in Vegas, I'm sure y'all might know about Big Chicken. This is one thick behind sandwich, I'll tell you that. This is a uh, a Nashville uh, chicken san uh, sandwich. I saw it had good reviews on a, on, on a line, so. I'm black, I like chicken. <laughs> Let me go ahead and try it. Got all the damn cheeses coming out of, out of the bottom, trying to freaking ooze out and stuff like that. Lord, have mercy. First impressions, big chicken, Las Vegas. We here, baby. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Um. That's actually one of, I remember, I don't know if it was KFC or some other, or some other place that I had a Nashville uh, chicken 
sandwich from. And then it wasn't bad, but like they put so much sauce on it that like the burger, I mean that that the bread itself was like freaking soggy and I hate eating freaking sandwiches to where the bread is soggy. This is like just enough Nashville. I think they said it's a dry rub and the bread is not soggy, but it still got like a lot of sauce action going freaking stuff is dripping on my hands and stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm gonna eat this joint right now. Um and I will see you guys day two. Day two CES. I'm still wiping the crust out of my eyes, as you can see. <laughs> as you can see, I think it's already like 11 past 11:40. So some people get. I've, I've noticed that a lot of people get there like as soon as the doors open at like freaking 10. I think I can't deal with people that early, <laughs> it's especially like that crowd of people. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. I do think that I'm gonna try to explore a lot more uh, today than I did yesterday. Ye yesterday, I like left at like three. <laughs> like I don't think it ended till like six thirty or seven. I'm like, bro, I can't, <laughs> I can't do this junk. Like, you know, I, I like being around people, but when you around a sea of people all day and like you like walking around and there's so much stuff to look at. First day was a little bit overwhelming, I guess. I still had a lot of fun and I met like you know the side rusher team and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely try to explore um a lot more today. Um, let me get the last stuff that I need to get though so I could leave. By the way, I've been seeing baddies spread all across CES. You gotta think about the power source, and you gotta think about the EV that's actually under charge. Because these factors, they have this direct impact on whether the charger even has a chance to work. Or are we just claiming that we can do it? Of course we can. For one of the OEMs, we conducted an assessment and blueprinting exercise. And like we started the panel by talking about, hey, we're gonna talk about this focus on the consumer, right? When the consumer changes what they want, what changes in the content distribution, content creation pipeline. And like, how how is that gonna continue to evolve? Because I, I think, it, to your point, it's the barrier of entry today. The barrier of entry is not whether you can create content, because you can. The barrier of entry is if you want anyone to see that content, how do you go about that? Even for the major media companies at this point. Any device, any device imagine at any time, right? right? As a creator, super simple, so no just, problem, right? So they just expect it. To So I ended up doing something that you should never do if you go to CES. I got hungry. <laughs> oh, oh my God. In my humble opinion, never get hungry at CES or bring your own snacks. Because if you don't, I don't care how much money you got, you're about to get finessed. I paid $15 for a slice of pizza and a bottle of water. The pizza was $10, the water was five. I wish I was kidding. Conversation about it really varies by country and by culture. I'd like to first um, thank the audience for having curiosity to even come and participate. 
Okay, yeah, absolutely. So this thing wants to essentially turn me into a bow and arrow. Step over, Day two, CES. It's over with. tired of catching an uber i'm walking to my hotel <laughs> i ain't paying it no more first time I'm sitting down all day <laughs> all day man I don't know if I got another day in me y'all I really down <laughs> I really don't bro uh but uh I'm having a lot of fun so that's the most important thing um but I also stopped on this place on the way home because I needed something to eat again y'all saw that I, I I walked home <laughs> I freaking walked to my hotel room I'm trying to I, I'm trying to cut out as much expenses as possible right now. I'm cheap to a certain degree. Like when I see I'm swiping my car, like every freaking few of minutes, I'd be like, <coughs> I'd be like, no, 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 no. So uh, I walked home. Um, it wasn't even that far. I think the convention is like maybe maybe like a mile and a half away from me or maybe two miles tops. Like that's, to me, that's nothing because I like riding my bike a lot and stuff like that. So I enjoyed walking home. You know, it was nice weather. It's not as chilly today as, as it was yesterday. Um, I'm just not, because it's like each time you take an Uber, it's at least like 11 plus dollars. And then, you know, you got to leave a tip if you feel like, you know, uh, that junk starts to add up, bro. I've been here now, what, like, I think two and a half days. <laughs> I ain't doing it no more, bro. I uh, went to this place called Famous Dave's. It's supposed to have really good barbecue. And I'm like, let me see what these prices uh, look like. And they give you actually a good amount for what you get. So so as you see here, this is what I got. Um, I got the two uh, cornbread McMuffins. The chick said that they were really good. I said, rate it out of 10. She said, eight. I'm like... Let me get an extra one. <laughs> Let me get an extra one. You got the uh, fries that's supposed to be really good in season. You got uh, some uh, some nice little spare ribs at the bottom. Boy, 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 boy. You see that? That boy. That, that, that show that boy. <laughs> and also got uh, some chicken right there. And this is a uh, this this was their um cheesy uh dave's mac and cheese or something like that that's supposed to have jalapenos in it and onions and some stuff the job do look nice and good and cheesy so um yeah this is what i bought tonight i'm gonna try to stretch this junk and make it last for tomorrow too at least some of tomorrow let's see famous dave's see what you about uh she gave me some extra sauces these are some big sauce packets too barbecue Sauce rich and sassy, and some tish junk is called Devil Spit. <laughs> Even angels like the Devil Spit. What? But yeah, man, I hope uh, y'all year has started off good so far. My jump started off trash. I ain't, I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. The first like three, four days of the new year, I wasn't, even, I wasn't in a funk, but I'm just like, I was trying to reflect on last year and i was like slowly building up myself to content to to continue the grind that is life in 2024 <laughs> so my year actually started off not all that well but here i am now in you know vegas ces trying to enjoy myself you know and uh you know 
I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I heard, according to the reviews, that the spare ribs at this place is like the best thing. Um, Suggers is going crazy. Oh, whoo! I know you see the char. I know you see it, because I see it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I heard the spare ribs was really good. Um, but I'll be the judge of that. Muy bien. Muy bien. Mm hmm Right. Mm hmm Mm hmm Okay. It's talking to me. <laughs> it's talking to me. I love that. <laughs> this is Dave's Cheesy Mac and Cheese. This was actually... It was, they, they only had like a little bit more of this left and it looks pretty... Kind of like it was been sitting out all a day, but she said it was like better than their original mac mac and cheese. So I'm like, let me get it. So let's see this. This is the Dave Cheesy's uh, jalapeno mac and cheese. If my camera wants to focus. <laughs> It'll suffice. <laughs> It'll suffice. You know, brothers is real strict when it comes to the mac and cheese. If it ain't our mama's mac and cheese, you know, it's like being kind of. <laughs> Let's see if this chick was lying with with a, the uh, corn muffins. She said the corn muffins was really good and they like kind of taste like like cupcakes or something like that. Let's see. Muy bien. All right. This is the best corn muffin I ever had. <laughs> this this corn muffin, not only is it really soft, it's sweet, but not like overpowering sweet. It's like, it's, it's not diabetes sweet where you feel like you're like eating, like it's like too sweet. It's just sweet enough and like buttery and flavorful and mm, that BBQ chicken. Looking pretty nice, I must say. So let's try this chicken, man. I'll tell you one thing, this chunk is falling off the damn bone. Muy bien. Muy bien. Chicken might be better than the damn ribs. <laughs> damn. That chicken is juicy. That chicken is flavorful. That chicken falling off the bone. This chicken talking to me. Juices flowing all, all throughout my mouth. I'll see y'all for day three if I even wake up for day three. <laughs> if I even get out the bed at this point for day three. It's not infected. A certain amount of swelling is perfectly normal. Where did it say that, Al? On the potato? <laughs>
what card is this? This card is huge. Yeah, so this one is the actual 4070. Oh, I'm sorry, I take that back, 4080. So wow. this is like the second step. How much did that gun weigh, like 10 pounds? It's pretty beast. Wait, you, have you seen the 4090? I have the 3070 and like... 4090 is right there. You think this one's big, wait till you see the 4090. Wow. So this is the Ace Gaming uh, company? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Ace Computers is our parent company and uh, Ace Gaming is a division of that. Okay, so it's right. focus is strictly on the gaming line of things. So. Hey y'all, watch this. He he wanted me to get up and go over to the next computer because he wanted me to see the 4090 to try out uh Spider-Man and watch what happens. Is this the, the uh, 2018 one? That I came out? Yeah, Spider-Man? That's current. I think it just crashed. Did it just freeze? <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, we've been running seeing so hot. <laughs> Alright, we'll get this bitch going back again here. <laughs> That's the first three days. This is the first time I see this. I, I do ask no uh, photo of the game just because it's not released yet. So. And I, I do ask no uh, photo of the game just because it's not released yet. So. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Didn't this game drop like four years? <laughs> Didn't this game drop? They was treating this remaster like it was a brand new freaking game. I'm like, did didn't this just drop in uh 2020? And they was like, say another motherfucking word, and this shit is over. <laughs> <laughs>